Hey everyone, Thatcher, welcome to Puckle Trivia Rewind, where we play old trivia segments from our show, Puckle Podcast. You can be sure to go over to the main feed, Puckle Podcast, where we listen to this podcast, and get more goodness. We talk more in-depth about other Pokemon topics and whatnot, as well as have up-to-date trivia. But right now, you're hitting Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, and that's great, because now Stack Attack and Blacephalon are still there, Toucanic can still be an answer, and things are just going swimmingly. So... Sit back, relax, and enjoy this segment of Pokemon Trivia. And on to the Pokles Pokey Quiz, the segment of the show where we quiz your co-host on their innate Pokemon knowledge. So, of course, that means no computer screens, guys. You have to use what's in your heads. And you guys are going to have to, you're going to have five questions. You are going to have one of the, each question is worth one point. One of these questions will have a bonus point, which will give you a total of six points. You'll also have one hint you can use for all of the questions. If you get all of the questions correct without using the hint, you can cash that in for a bonus point for a maximum possible total of seven. The latter has just reset as of last week. So Maximus is in the lead with five points and everybody else has to get on the board today, guys, you can potentially take first place. And you are playing for a plush on the PokemonCenter.com website of a value of $20 or less. If you guys are ready, we'll get into it. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. All right. So question number one is one that I found online. It is also a multiple choice question. So hopefully you guys do well here. So which of the following Pokemon can't learn Bumble Beam in any generation or main game? Okay, so Bubble Beam. That's the move. Which one of these Pokemon can't learn it? And here are four Pokemon. Kabuto, Totodile, Cubone, or Polyrath? Which one can't learn Bubble Beam? That's deceptive. That's deceptive as hell. Watch Cubone notes Bubble Beam. Mm-mm. Well, I know Polyrath gets it. Yeah, Polyrath gets it. For sure we can, like, scratch that one out. Um, I don't think Totodile gets it, does it? I don't think it does, but I can't... No, it learns other types of water moves. I don't think it learns Bubble Beam. What, what wait, think wait, of. no, I th- yeah, I think it's Totodile, because if I remember right, Bobby was actually a TM in Gen 1. Well, there you go, it's gotta be, and it's, the, and it's, it's I, 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 wanna, I kinda wanna go Totodile too, cause I just I don't, I think Cubone actually gets it. I bet it does, like, you put something that out there, it's, it's, uh... Um, I don't think it's Gen 1 too. It's all a those, red herring, yeah. Yeah. All those Pokemon were Gen 1 too, other than Totodile. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And I, I, because Gen 1 had some weird, weird TMs. And I remember Bubble Beam being, I think it was TM22, too. Mm-hmm. So. And I think Kabutops, like, actually might just learn it. I th- yeah, because I think it gets Bubble at least. But. Uh, yeah, I think it at least gets Bubble. And then, like, Kabutops gets Giga Drain, too. Like, yeah, sure, whatever. That's weird. I'm going to need an uh, answer. Yeah, I think we should go with Totodile. Yeah. That is correct. Totodile is the correct answer. Totodile cannot learn Bubble Beam because of the exact reason Shamu stated it was a TM in Gen 1. Cubone learns a crazy amount of special TMs, and Marowak's special attack is like base 50. It's You'd absolute think it garbage. it was a normal type. Yeah. It's absolute garbage. It learns like Ice Beam and like Thunder. It learns yeah. so many crazy moves. It still does. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's like Fire Blast, Thunder. Blizzard. Because Marowak. So I specs yeah. Marowak. Little did you know. Yep, hmm. fun fact. But yeah, it can learn Bubble Beam. So there you go. The more you know. Oh, man, that means you could have an Alolan Marowak that knows Bubble Beam. Oh, you I could. Just, I just thought about that. <gasps> oh, I want to work on that. Wouldn't that be um, fun? Yeah. New life goal. <laughs> All right, so that's one point. You guys are one for one. <laughs> we are going to go ahead and move on to a question brought to you by none other than Claude 9 And he wants to know, sometimes when Pokemon evolve, they change typing. What is the most common type that they evolve into? That they evolve into. Yeah, so what, what type that they typically gain gets that they didn't previously yeah, have? Yeah, gain or pre- yeah, it, a type that they gain that they didn't previously have. Hmm. Um. Well, I can. Th- I'm trying to think. The most common one. Um, well, I can tell you right now, three are fighting. So that's, that's a good the, choice. And that's the starters right off the bat. Right, and then also you have Curlia, Bloom, Bloom, and Yep. And I'm feeling like this was a good choice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And then Chestnut. Yeah, Chestnut's one as well, because Chestnut did mm-hmm. that. Um, I think what other fighting types there are. Um, Lob when Putty. You mega you evolve Lob Mewtwo? Putty? Yeah, when you Mega Evolve Mewtwo yeah, as well. It's fighting, yeah, it's fighting. That's an evolution, right? <laughs> point. I think that doesn't count, but still. 
Um, the only thing is, do more things become flying? That was the only other thing I was thinking um, of maybe. Um, I can't think Salamence, of Salamence, Yarados, Flygon. Flygon's not flying. Oh, Flygon's not. But like, it's just <laughs> in the name. I don't know why I said that. I derp. Um, hmm. No, I think fighting's probably it. You're right. Is that your final Poppy answer? Pass. Why? Is, yeah, yeah, pop, yeah. That's just like all these esoteric things that get fighting. So your final answer is fighting. Yeah, that is unfortunately incorrect. Uh, it is flying. Oh gosh, really? ah, sh- ah! You guys were super close, though. Yeah, like, we should give it to us anyway. Uh I wish I was that generous. Yeah, oh, you right. are sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> It's a new round of trivia. New foot forward until we get to like 20 points on somebody and then you just start handing them points. So we have to reset the ladder. All right. So this next question comes from Big B and he wants to know, what is the one non-dragon type Pokemon that can learn Draco Meteor? Oh, um, I want to say this is like an event. No, it's Jirachi. Jirachi, the Draco Meteor Jirachi, the thing. Well, there you go. It's an is that event. your it's final answer? Fire there you go. Yeah, it's an final. event. I yeah. bet they did it for the Tabanata Festival. I'm pretty sure this happened before, too. We've had this question before, I'm pretty that sure. That might have happened. I don't remember. Because I remember answering Jirachi like two or three times at this point now. Oh, Chris right. Is that, that is correct. It is Jirachi. We're done. Okay, we're going to stop criticizing Thatch's trivia question selection ability. Um, and that is two points out of three. So you guys are doing pretty well so far, though. So the next question is your bonus point question. Well, I will okay. need, I will take one point for each answer. There are two answers for this question. And this one is also brought to you by Claude Nine. And he wants to know there are two Pokemon types that are never gained when evolving a Pokemon when a Pokemon evolves. What are they? Normal. Yeah. What gains normal? Nothing gains normal. Yeah, that's actually yeah. That's actually That's one of them. Um now the other one, that'll be trickier. Uh does anything gain grass? Um, no, I don't think it does. I, I'm trying to uh, think of something. Let's see if we can think of something. Like a split evolution, maybe? Oh, no, it can't be grass because of all the damn evolutions. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that was a close one. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, what about bug? Does anything gain bug? Uh, I know there are things that lose bug, but does anything gain bug? I think it might be bug because I can't think of anything else. I can't think of anything right now that would. I think it's, I think it's normal and bug. Yeah, let's go with normal and bug. That is correct on both accounts. All right, good for so us. That's four yeah. points for you guys right now. You guys are doing pretty well. So you can tie Maximus here for number one spot by answering this next question, which is always a base stat question. And so I want to know this week. What normal type Pokemon has the highest base defense? Base defense? Um, Regigigas comes to mind. Oh, wait. Yeah. No, wait, okay. uh, Regigigas has a high amount, I believe. Cause attack, it's like 160, isn't it? No, it's not that 160 high. 160 is attack. Um, its speed is one. No, it's not speed. Um, no, it might not be Regigigas. It might... Um, Arceus has... Uh, 120, 120, right? right so that's the, the like number to beat. Um, can't think of any other bulky like normal types. Oh, what is a? Odd you know what? Like we have it cast in our hit. Oh, we made. Let's well. do that. Yeah. yeah, it's a mega evolution. Ah, like odd no. Well, you know what? It's not mega Pidgeot, so I'm pretty sure it's odd no. It's not mega Lopini, so yeah, why not? Maybe mega odd no is correct. That gives you guys like five points for today. Right? It's one twenty six, but close. One twenty six. Yeah. Yep. So that gives you guys five points. That puts you guys, you're tied with Maximus now for the lead. So good job to both of you. Uh, go for that win. I've already won, so you I just... You both have already won. Up. You've literally yeah. both already won. <laughs> go for that win, guys. Go for that win. And on to Buckles Poke Quiz, the part of the show where we quiz your host on their innate Pokemon knowledge. Innate. Was, let it all be known that it, it's innate. They are born with this. They come out of the room and they're just like, we know what's happening in Pokemon. Shaking my head. I feel like that's going to that's gonna be your children, though. That's something you're going to pass <laughs> on, just like genetically. I don't know if I'm going to do it genetically, but I'm definitely forcing my kids to like do the Pokemon circuit. Because for juniors, it's so easy for them to go to worlds and stuff. It's absurd. Oh, yeah. They're getting all the scholarship money just by going to these events. Like, I will go there. And go to these events and let them go. 
I'm going to be the cool dad, but no, it's going to be like, it's going to be like the soccer dad that the kids are tired of playing soccer. You know, they're just like, we're really not that into it, but our dad's into it, you know? <laughs> and, and so they're just going to get tired of me at one point and just be like, we don't want to play Pokemon anymore, dad. And I'll be like, you're going to be like one of those Southern moms who dresses up their daughter and forces them to compete in the, you know, yeah. little Miss sunshine. Absolutely. Absolutely. Except I'm, it's going to be me shoving like a Pokemon team into my child's hands and being like, <laughs> do well. You're uh, going to learn how to play this most broken deck if you like it or not. And then, <laughs> and then we'll go get ice cream. Yay! Uh, <laughs> I digress. We are going to go ahead and quiz your co-host by asking them five questions. Each of these questions is worth one point. One of them will have a bonus point. They will also have a hint that they can use at any time to help answer these questions. There are, uh, and if they get all of the questions correct, they can without using the hint, they can cash it in for an extra point for a possible total of seven points. Ooh, Bring I've it on, it. pal! You're looking at a game corner winner, 2018. I've I, you're looking at somebody that has gotten the seven points. I think twice. Yeah. So <laughs> it's also it's also a pretty fresh ladder. I think everybody's tied with like no. I think Sublime's in the lead with like six points, and that's yeah, about on a TCG cast six to five. You guys are in a race of thirty against the other co-host. You will be operating as a team for this episode, and. We are racing to 30, and if you get there, you get a Pokemon plush from PokemonCenter.com of your choice under $20. <laughs> under $20. Under, under $20. Because I don't need any of this nonsense. Like, I really like that Snorlax, and it's like the $250 beanbag Snorlax. Okay? Okay, what if I send you the money to make up the difference? Uh, totally, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. <laughs> I like it. I'd probably just ask for another Bound Suite to add to my collection of Bound Suite plushes. Well, it goes with the new announcement that they, they're going to start launching. Uh, starting this week, actually, 30 of the original Pokemon are getting plushes. And then in November, the rest of the original 151 are getting new plushes. I so, love how like I was Diglett, talking man. to R Sigma about that. Yeah, and he was like, don't miss out on this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to have a Jinx plush. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, oh, all oh, right. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All of these questions come from Claude Nine today. I, I they're all oh, in the vein no. of gym badges and trials. So it's actually really interesting. It's the theme today. So and we're trash. gonna we're gonna jump into it. So I want to know. We're gonna start off easy, hopefully easy for you guys. What is the name of the badge that Brawly gives a trainer that beats his gym? I know this Gator. All right, what is it? It's uh, it's the knuckle badge, yeah. Because I, I just Gen three, right? It, yeah. I, I, yes. I, like one hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, it's the knuckle badge, right? I agree. Is that your final answer? Uh, yes. wait, wait. May, okay. Mm, yes. Gator says yes. That is correct. Okay, is I was doubting badge. myself. You made me doubt myself. <laughs> uh, he not, does it on purpose. You got to just power through. I just right. need to know if it's your final answer. Like, I get answers, and I'm just like, is that the one you're going with? And then you need to say yes. <laughs> yeah, All Gen right. 3 is my thing main. That is one for one. So good on you guys there. So Let's starting off strong. Of in Generation 6, how many badges did you need to obtain in order for Ultra Balls to start showing up in shops? Mm. I'll give you a plus or minus one on this. Uh, huh. All right. So... Is it like three? Because you, it's like you get the Pokeball, and then I'm gonna go with like three. Wait, I feel like I wait, feel like wait, it didn't wait. take that long. If we have a plus or minus one, it'd be more reasonable to guess four. I think. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's three, but we can guess four if you like. Is that yeah, your final I answer? A, I don't. I don't have a definite answer here, but yeah, I think four is pretty reasonable to guess. Yeah, four. That is within the margin of error. The answer is actually three, and if, but four <laughs> four calls it, so we are gonna accept that. That is two points for you guys today. You guys are doing real strong right now. All right, so number three has to do with trials, kind of. It's pretty much the same question. How many trials did you have to go through before full restores showed up in Pokemarts in Generation Seven? And I'll oh, give you the plus God. or minus one here again. Full I don't restores. Ah. Like <laughs> uh... <laughs> He mm. is intentionally making them all gym related. <laughs> like that's really that's really specific. Uh, full restore is the one that's HP and it's uh, yes. Um, 
I shouldn't be helping, but I am, I guess. Um, I think I think you have to beat the game, don't you? No, no, I don't think so. Okay, so let's just count the trials. There's one on Mele Mele. There are three on Akala. Plus the Kahuna. Are the Kahuna fights included no, in this? No, just trials. Right. Those aren't trials. Right. Okay, so four we can best basically rule out, I think, unless it's right after Akala. I'm mm. pretty sure you have to beat the game. All right. Well, uh, we'll go with that then. How many trials are there total then? There's the very... There's, there's one for each island, isn't there? So it should be four? No. No, those are the kahunas, mate. Oh. Yeah, there Can are just three, three on Akala, one on Mele Mele. There are, I want to say, three also on Ula Ula, because there's the Ghost, Electric, and... Wait, what's the other one? Um, I just remember two on Ula Ula, actually. Unless you count, like, Guzma. No, Guzma doesn't really count. So I guess it is just those two. So yeah, it's, it's five, six, and then there's seven, eight, maybe? Uh, uh, man, this is hard. I'm yes, just going to... Go. Seven. Seven trials. Let's just go with that. All right. Like, that is they're... correct. Whoa! Uh, there are... <laughs> It's the end of the game, right? Yeah, there are seven trials in Pokemon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, and in Sun and Moon. They are slightly different depending on which game you're playing because it depends on how what trials on Pony Island because Pony Island will actually change between the fairy one and the dragon one depending on oh. which which what game you're playing. However, that does give you a total of seven trials. All you need is seven trials so you can get full restores because you can't get them until you beat the game. Until you get to the Elite Four. Uh, power of teamwork, <laughs> mate. So that is three points for you guys. Let's do this. So the next question is your bonus point question. Oh, oh no. And this ha this question has three possible answers. So you only need to get two of them. So in the first three generations, badges boosted the stats of your Pokemon. Which badges raised your attack? And you don't have what? to get the names correct, but if you do, if you give me like the gym leader or something, I'll accept that as well. So um, I need to know which ones raised your attack. So, uh, the names of the badges, or just the... I will you, take both, can... as long as I can identify which badge you're talking about. So, definitely the Boulder badge. That would be from um, Kanto. All right. Um, and Hoenn, it was the stone one. The stone? So stone that's badge. Roxanne, uh, which was the... Oh, oh, granite, I want to say? Granite badge? No, I think it was the stone badge. I think it was just called stone badge. Roxanne's? Um, Roxanne's badge? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's just the stone badge. Like, boulder badge, stone badge. Oh, okay. Um, and then Gen 2. Was it? Oh, wait. We only need we only need two. See, so, yeah, we'll just go with those two, because I don't know what Gen 2 is. Are, are but, you positive that it's the first gym? I'm positive it's the boulder badge and the stone badge. I want to say stone badge. All right. Instead of saying stone badge, can we just say Roxanne? Yeah, I'll just take it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so that is correct on both accounts. Uh, it okay. is the Boulder Badge, the Zephyr Badge, and the Stone Badge that will give you this boost in attack. Zephyr Badge, that's what it was. I that's only played all, Crystal, all and I was yeah. like a dumb kid, so I don't remember playing Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> but that wow. gives you five points so far today, guys. You're doing pretty good. So okay, now, no pressure. <laughs> so now the next question is the base stat question. And oh. I will... And I want to know about special defense uh, this week, and I want to know what fire type Pokemon has the highest base special defense. Is it mono fire type or? Oh, be any. Oh, okay. Because so some some episodes you've been doing. Yeah, I, I will. I will say it's mono type if it is. I will say that. But this is just any fire type. Okay. Um, pretty hmm. sure it's Ho Oh. Well, the stuff that comes to mind with high special defense: Ho Oh, Heatran. Uh, maybe like Primal Groudon or something. I try to think Megas. Oh, that's true. Out. I didn't even think about Primal Groudon. Uh, mm hmm. I don't think it's Vic Victini. That's all one hundred. I think. Uh, yeah, it's it's a mythic, isn't it? So isn't mythic yeah. usually? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There aren't many uh, legendary fire types, right? So no. maybe no. It's not Reshiram. Um, no, 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 you know what, uh, wait, what are the mega fires? It's nothing really scary, right? 
Mm. No, it's like Charizard and uh, Blaziken. And, I'm uh, pretty sure it's Ho Ho. All right, yeah, I'm fine with that. I think if you're if you're fine with it, I'm not. I'm I'm not. Let's I try to get all seven Ho-Oh. points. I think Is that your final good. answer? Yes. Yeah. That is correct. It is uh, yeah. Ho-Oh. That gives you guys the seven points for today. So good job getting the getting all of the bet or all the points possible. That's something that hasn't happened in a while. Okay, I'm I'm too stressed to do the rest of the podcast. Can we just, <laughs> can we talk about nice things? So now? so out of fire touch with the high special defense, it's like Ho Ho at base one fifty four, and then I think the next one is literally like Mega Charizard Y and Reshiram. Oh, I forgot tied about that for one. like. Oh, it's Reshiram at 120, and then Mega Charizard Y at 115. What for reference? What's Primal Groudon? Because that one was my like. Oh my gosh, up. that's like, man, Groudon has to be way down there. One sec, it's probably way down there. Um, so Primal Groudon's special defense is 90. It's not even that oh, good. Okay, so that's better. It usually right. doesn't matter because like most of the time, water moves completely fizzle against it. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I was just thinking, because Flareon was one of my other guesses, but I, I knew it had to be one of the legendaries, because Flareon's got a pretty high one. Base 130 is the highest you can go with an evolution. Oh, I didn't know that. I mean, I knew that, but I didn't think about that. Yeah, and also it's in Flareon's attack, and that's why he's sad. Uh... But, all right, that is going to be it for Poke Quiz. That gives you guys a solid seven points, though, and that gives you guys the lead, I think. Yeah. Uh, so far. Uh, <laughs> eat. Uh, getting getting closer to that, getting closer to what's that called? That Pokemon plush from PokemonCenter dot com. Bound Suite number two. Bound Suite. <laughs> I don't know. Is there a Bound Suite plush on PokemonCenter dot com? I don't know. You're I'll be you're right as- back with them. You're asking the real questions right now. the The score is Scrawn and Gator in the lead with seven points. In third place, we have Sublime with sixth, and in fourth and fifth. Or tied for fourth, we have Dr. Shemu and Mr. Maximus. Everybody else has yet to get on the board. Boo yeah. And welcome to Puckle's Pokey Quiz, the part of the show where we quiz your co host on their innate Pokemon knowledge. Of course, that means no browsers. They have to use what's in their heads, they cannot use any help or lifelines. This will be a series of five questions. Basket and Scrawn will be operating as a team, and they will get joint points together. They are playing against all the other co-hosts for a Pokemon plush from PokemonCenter.com of $20 or less in value. Excellent. It is a race to 30 points. Right now, Scrawn is in the lead with eight, actually. So good for him. So we are going to go ahead and Uh, get started. I have a question. Yes. Uh, Can I have the Lickitung Bulbapedia page open? No. You can know. Oh. <laughs> All these questions are about Lickitung. <laughs> but we are going to go ahead and start the uh, questions. You guys have five questions. One hint to use throughout all of the questions. There's also one question that includes a bonus point. You can, of course, cash in that hint, though, for an extra point if you get all of the questions correct without it. For a possible total of seven, if you guys are ready to go, I am ready to ask you some questions. I'm ready. My body is ready. All right, so this first question comes to us from Ironcaster. He wants to know, what was Ash's original starter choice at Professor Oak's lab? Do you know, Basket? I, I want to say it was like a callback to something. I think it might have been Bulbasaur. Was it? I, I, I want to say it was Charmander because of his fiery personality. But I thought I thought that's the one that Gary got. Uh, that would make sense, though, because like Gary like took everything from ash or like had the perception of taking stuff from ash because like i'm better than you gary gary he's so cool i would guess charmander but you know i'll go with your gut feeling on this yeah it might even be might even be squirtle i think that was why it was so important that he ended up getting a charmander because he had always wanted one or whatever i don't know that's what i would guess what is your final answer you decide basket you're bringing up a really good point but i feel like bulbasaur that is unfortunately incorrect. The answer is actually Squirtle. It is exactly <laughs> for the reason that you guys said, though. It was because Gary got that one. Oh, really? uh, yeah, yeah, Gary's starter was Blastoise, or Squirtle. He had a Blastoise at the end, and then there was a huge showdown between the Blastoise and the Charizard. Oh. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, there you guys go. All right, so for another 
awesome anime related question. This one comes from Shira. She wants to know what is the only shiny Pokemon that has shown up in the Sun and Moon anime thus far? The Sun and Moon anime it has to be. Oh my god. I don't know a darn thing about it. You guys should watch it, by the way. It's very good. I did. I, I watched some of it. I'm trying to remember. <sighs> Let's see. It is on Netflix. This, this episode in particular is on Netflix. Of course, you guys do have the hint as well. Doesn't like a shiny Meryl show up in the game? Or what is it? A shiny Execute is what it is. Yeah, the guy has a shiny Execute. Is that what it could be? I have no idea, man. It is a Gen 7 Pokemon, so like... Oh, uh, hmm. It's going it... one of those fun-looking ones. Did you Did you say which character has it? None of the main characters have it, but not the shiny version of it. Here, let's see, use our hint on this one. It's in an episode where it revolves around Sophocles, the electric-type trainer. He had he has actually one of these, but it's not shiny. Uh, probably it's Vika Volt then. Yeah, let's let's say Vika Volt. If there or, or, or it or. it could like Sophocles' whole thing is like Charger Bug and his horde of Charger Bugs, but like oh, it's probably Charger Bug. Would they really race? I, I they look like buses. That is true. It would be funny. <laughs> I'm gonna need an answer. I think we're gonna go with the funnier answer and say Charger Bug. That is correct. Yes! It is Charger Bug. There's an episode in the anime where Charger Bug essentially, they, they build these little cars for Charger Bug, and it <laughs> empowers them and it turns the wheels. That and is so funny. It races against a shiny Charger Bug, which is just a red Charger Bug. That's awesome. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, it's a very, very fun, uh, <laughs> fun one. All right, so this next question comes from Hens, H3NZ, and he wants to know, what flying type Pokemon has the ability steadfast? Uh, so generally fighting types have that. But this is so, a flying type. Right. Oh, wait, this isn't from Hens. I lied. This is from Hydra. Okay. Steadfast. But a flying type Pokemon was steadfast. Like, oh. my gut feeling <laughs> okay, says... I know, I, okay, I, <laughs> I know this one. It's Scyther. Is it? Yeah, it totally is. Because I got, I got a Scyther with steadfast. <laughs> and I was so upset because I was like, "This is crap." <laughs> and it was, it was All right, good. you know, I'll go with that. Someone was like, "I." Someone was like, "Dude, I'll give you." What did they give me? They gave me something I really wanted because they just wanted it for their collection, and mm -hmm. it was completely useless. They're like, "Oh, that's its hidden ability," because I didn't even know it had it. Like I <laughs> thought it was something like brand new, and um, yeah, someone traded me. Uh, I don't remember what it was. It was something. It was some baby Pokemon with a move that I needed for another Pokemon. I mean, getting its hidden ability is actually a big deal because I believe Technician is Scizor's hidden ability. Ooh. Let me double Get check that, but I might is be it? lying. I don't think it is. Uh, nope, it's Light Metal. It's garbage. Nope, Steadfast is garbage. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> that is so garbage. All right, so your answer is the, the see, I think is your final answer. That yeah. is correct, by the way. That is correct. We're talking <laughs> about Scizor. So that is two points for you guys today. Our I'll next question that. is the bonus point question. And okay. there is actually three answers. I'll, you only need two. This is about right. Pokemon Go. Excellent. What Gen 3 Pokemon lines have yet to be released in Pokemon Go? Gen 3 Pokemon lines. Mm. Oh, wow. Snag already answered them in his car, by the way. I know, he totally did. I've heard uh, him talk about are we before. Are we talking about like uh, legendaries and stuff? Is that that technically is an answer? I mean, because I didn't say not legendaries, I'll give you that. But okay. there aren't that many of them. Because I can name off like a lot. <laughs> Are we but gonna take the easy road out of? This actually, basket? all the legendaries I think have been out because no, they were just originally um, rotating. It's, just, it's only Regice that's out. Regirock, Registeel's not out. I thought they were out in different countries. I'm pretty sure Rodicanth isn't out. Mm. Right. No, I know, I know. Clam Pearl isn't out yet, so that means that uh, the Clam Pearl, okay. the, the nose, the, the nose fish, uh, yeah, Gor like Gorbis, 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 and uh, Hunt Huntail, th those aren't out yet. Um, it's the Clam Pearl evolutionary line, yeah. So that's one answer. I, I, I'm pretty positive about that because um, I have a Relicanth. Do you? Okay, but Do you yeah, have Love Disc. Are those out? Yeah, those are. Um, I'm pretty positive I have one. Oh, are Chimeco out? I, I have no idea. 
I don't think they're, yeah, are. yeah, no, they're totally out. I really, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I'm gonna go with uh, Clam Pearl, but as a backup, I'm gonna say Reg Rock, Reg Stable, Deoxys, and uh, Jirachi. Okay, fine, those count, but it, the real answer <laughs> is the Ninkata, Clam Pearl, and Spinda lines. Ah, um, okay. those are not okay. out yet. But th- I'll take both. You'll get two points. That's four points for you guys today. That does seems like a whole lot of work to try. Yes, to, like, I agree with that. With. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's different, and you are you are you sure spin is out? Because I'm like almost positive. It's not out. Oh, it's not out. I'm it's almost positive. Said. I have one. I'm. You know what? I'm gonna pull up Pokemon Go right now because I I swear I have a Spinda. You do not. I bet you a million <laughs> bajillion dollars. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, we can continue. <laughs> All right. So our last question, as always, is a base deck question, and I hope you guys are ready for this. I want to know what normal type Pokemon has the lowest base attack stat. There are actually two of them that are tied for it, but I only need one. Normal, normal uh, lowest base attack stat. It also turns out to be the lowest base attack stat ever. Are we talking about like the lowest evolutions? I don't care as long as it is one of the Pokemon that is named. Ever. Oh, man, I don't even remotely know. Normal Two type Pokemon, Pokemon type. with really poopy attack. Like, really mm-hmm. poopy attack. Like, first thing that comes to mind is, like, Igglybuff and Cleffa. But... So, yeah, Cleffa's that's... not a normal type, so... I'd say, mm, I guess I'd say Igglybuff. I don't really know what else. Because I know Hapini is, like, canonically, like, super powerful for its size, but it might not actually be. I'm try- what other ones have, like, special mo- Oh, uh, 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 cast form. Maybe. Cast form, well, maybe yeah. That's lowest true. base attack stat ever. I don't have a definitive on this, but I'm going to go with it. You know what? Can we just give one answer? Or You said two. So. There are two of them, but I only need one of these answers. All right. What do you want to go with, Basket? What, what were our choices again? You said Igby Buff, and, and what was the one I said again? That's the only one that comes to mind for me. <laughs> uh, oh, I said uh, cast form. How positive are you about Igby Buff? I know it's like basically a puff ball that can't do anything. Right, but I know, I, like, one of its first attacks is, like, Pound, though. I don't know if that's just to psych you out or <laughs> or what. Mm. Sure, let's go with Igglybuff. That is, unfortunately, incorrect. Igglybuff isn't even, like, close to the lowest, turns out. Igglybuff's got a base 30 attack. The one oh. that has the lowest attack is Happini, tied with Chansey. Happini? It, yep. You know, in, like, Pokemon Ranger, it's, like, lifting enormous boulders and stuff, right? Yeah, but attack doesn't mean strength. Ah, that makes no sense. Ah! Yep. It's got a base 5 attack. Magikarp is next in line with base 10, tied with Shuckle and Blissey. I can't even... Oh, I... That is where we are going to end the trivia segment. That gives you guys a total of 4 points for today, so that's not too shabby, though. Yeah, it's so not shabby at all. we are going to go ahead and give you guys those points, and we are going to jump right back into it. So right now we have in first place Scrawn with 12 points, followed by Gator with 7, Sublime with 6, Shamu and Maximus are tied with 5 points, Basket comes up right after that with 4, and Jushiro has 1. Welcome to Puckles Poke Quiz, the part of the show where we quiz your co-host on their innate Pokemon knowledge. That means no browsers, no internet. They just got to use what they know. Of course, we have five questions today, each worth a point apiece. One has a bonus point, so they can grab an extra point there. And as always, they have a hint that they can use. But if they get all the questions correct without it, they can cash it in for an extra point. For a possible total of seven, they are operating today as a team competing against the rest of the co-hosts to see who can get to 30 points the fastest because whoever gets there gets their plush from PokemonCenter.com of $20 or less. So if you guys are ready, I have five questions today, all based on a common theme of berries. Oh, no. Wow. Ready as I ever be. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Question number one. What does the cherry berry do? That's it? It removes paralysis. Paralysis, that is yeah. It. Yes, that is. I mean, it's they get harder. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. We got uh, one. Yay. <laughs> that is correct. It cures paralysis. You guys have one point. So this next one, this one's from Claude Nine, which inspired this trend, mostly because I needed to come up with trivia questions in a very short amount of time. And I, he wants to know, what does the Chillon Berry do? The Chillon Berry. I... Okay, so, Jushiro, I 
think it might be one of the ones that reduces super effective damage, and I think it might be the dragon one. Hey, your guess is better than mine. Okay, I don't think I'm going to come up with anything better, so I'm going to say it halves the damage taken from a super effective dragon type attack. That is unfortunately incorrect. You were halfway there. It halves the damage from a normal type move. It does not need to be super effective, though. Just a normal type move. Well, at least it was one of those. (laughs) It was one of those. You were correct. This one's a little bit special because normal's never super effective, right? Yeah. So it's it's slightly. So question number three is one of the rare Puckles Pokey Quiz multiple choice questions. Uh, So hopefully you can get this correct. This actually applies to the TCG as well. Oh, great. So the TCG has actually introduced a variety of cards that have used berries from the Pokemon world. However, it's made up its own as well. So I've got four cards here that were in the Pokemon TCG, and I want to know which one never actually got a card in the TCG. Four berries, I should say. Four berries. Three of them had TCG cards. One of them did not. Please let me know which one. Your choices are the Memory Berry, the Lumberry, the pineapple berry and the fluffy berry. Well, one of these did not have a TCG card. Well, um, two of those are not berries in the game. Correct. correct. However, the I TCG think made up some we, cards. Yeah, he. Yeah, memory sounds as if that was actually on the TCG. Yeah, memory and fluffy are not. I, I don't think they're in the game, so they have to be TCG cards. Yeah. Uh, I, I remember this thing. I distinctly remember memory. Fluffy or fluff, I do not. Uh, I believe there is definitely a Lumberry card. Uh, I I am between Pinup and Fluff. And I will but go f- with Fluff. Because no. Fluffy. Oh, wait. Why? Because Fluff was never in the game, so it has to be a card. It has to be something that was made up for the TCG, so it automatically gets a card, right? Correct. No, uh, because it could just, it doesn't exist. One of these doesn't have a card. Oh, that's the question. Yeah. Um, I, mm, um, so it has to be Pineup, because if you remember the Lumberry card and Fluff, like, all of these exist somewhere, right, Thatch? I will not confirm or deny that. <laughs> no comment. Well, well, then I think you're right, Jashiro, because if it's not in the game and if it's not in the TCG, I guess it just doesn't exist. No, but no, you with your yeah, no no, yeah, your your logic is sound. Um if they if we can assume all of them exists, uh it's some it has to be pin up. I cannot pin up, I cannot remember a pin up TCG at all card. I mean, it essentially depends on how evil Thatch is being right now throwing something in there that never existed. But if um I mean if if all of those exist somewhere, then it's definitely a pineup. Yeah. If one of them is allowed to have never existed anywhere, it's the fluff. I will go with pineup. I will because trust I... you. You're the TCG yeah. expert. That uh, is fine. correct. Yes. It is the pineapple berry. It never got a card. The fluffy berry, however, did. Mm, the fluffy don't berry. Remember never... what what set was that? Uh all of these were prior to Gen 4. <laughs> I was I was very okay. surprised because I was looking at berries on in the TCG, um, and it was uh, there are several that just never like existed in the game. They were just like you know what, yeah, forget this. It doesn't exist. Um, we're just gonna make whatever we want in the TCG. So you got things such as the miracle berry, the balloon berry, the healing berry, the memory berry, the fluffy one. berry. The fluffy is the only one I don't remember. <laughs> Fluffy actually was an EX Unseen Forces, mm, and it was okay. there's actually a copy of them all in the Meganium Typhlosion and Feraligator uh, starter decks. Okay, came out. So if you're looking for a place to find them, oh, that, that was actually only in Jap- Japan. It was an EX Unseen Forces here in the U.S. Gotcha. Yeah, boof, blew your mind right there. So it was yep. Gen three. It was a Gen three berry, the Fluffy berry. <laughs> All right, wow. so that gives you guys two points for today. So we're going to move on. This next one has two possible answers. It contains the bonus point. You get one point for each answer. So in Generation 6, you could use every single berry to create two different items for your Pokemon's consumption. What were they? 
This is including um, all of Gen 6 games, all Gen 6 games. Okay, so in Gen 3, you can make um, Pokeblocks. And yeah. you can use any type of candy in Pokeblocks. So those are in the remakes, which are part of Generation 6. So that's that's one, I think. Okay. The what other, about the Puffins? Puffins are in Gen 4. Gen 4, okay. In Generation 6, X and Y, there was a juice shop. In oh, Lumia yes. City, and you can could make various kinds of juices that had yes. different effects on your Pokemon, like they had to do with EVs and stuff. So you could make various kinds of berry juices. I think yeah, yeah. those are the answers. Are those your final answers? Can, can we make uh, the juices? I'm 100 percent sure on the blocks, though. Um, yeah, you, you can put anything in a Poke block. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah. Those are both correct. It is yes! both the Poke Blocks and the Berry Juices. That is four points for you guys today. So let's Good. see if you guys can get question number five. And as always, it is a base deck question that has nothing to do with berries because it's <laughs> really hard to wrap all of that in. So I want to know. The answer is uh, chuckle. I wish. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, he could have done that. <laughs> I could have done that, but that would have been really easy. Yeah, it would have. <laughs> what bug type Pokemon has the highest base HP stat? Well, we still have our hand. You do still uh, have our hand. Well, let's use this minute first. <laughs> let's use okay. our first minute. Good, uh, good. So what do we have? Bug type, eight, uh, high HP. Uh, I don't believe Fer- Feratra- uh, Feratress is one of them. Uh, it just um, has really high defenses. Yeah, correct. Uh, same thing with Shuckle. Well, wait, Shuckle's... Yeah, it's Bug yeah, Brock. Shuckle's but, HP yeah. is... No good. HP. Yeah. Uh, Heracross... I do not recall it having too much of a high. What about Mega Heracross? Uh, Megas never change the base HP value. The base, okay. Oh, good to know. Okay. Um, it can't be Gene Sect. It's too offensive to have high HP. Mm-mm. Boswell is really bulky on the physical side, which includes very high HP. Boswell, this is good. If I don't remember, if, if I yeah. remember correctly. Um, what else do we have here to work with? Bulky, what about mm, bug type Pokemon? Mm. Feel the of those. <sighs> what about drawing a blank here? I'm gonna need the answer, guys. No, we're gonna need a hint. Yep, it's a dual type. Oh well, thank you so much. I, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's ba- so I I should I should clarify as well for the question that if it if you were to say Arceus, I would have to let you win by technicality, but because you used the hint. It is not Arceus. Um, <laughs> this Pokemon's base HP is lower than it's Arceus's lower base than HP. lower than <laughs> Yes. Uh, okay. Um, lower than 120. Honestly, who the heck knows? It it might be something incredibly dumb. Like, um, I don't think it's Volcarona. No. No. Um, okay. um God, there's so many. It's bug also types. really popular in the TCG. Oh, it's Buzzwool. Okay, I was right then. <laughs> yep, you were right. Buzzwool is correct. It has a base HP stat of 107, <laughs> making it the highest bug type Pokemon, the uh, highest base HP of all bug type Pokemon. Which is absurd <laughs> because bug type, like that's bug type Pokemon for you, I guess. Yep. But so, his soul. Hmm. His soul. He is soul. Um, so that guy um, that gives you guys five points for the day. That that changes ooh, up the board not almost. Bad. We did good. It's because we had TCG questions. <laughs> oh, <and> TCG <laughs> uh, all right. So let me let me click my button to sort these. So in first place we have Scrawn with thirteen points, tied nice. for second right now with seven points. We have Gator and Jushiro. Oof. Following that up, tied for fourth, we have Sublime and Doctor Shamu. Followed by a tie for sixth place with Maximus and Whimsicott with five points. Basket is in eighth with four points. And our Sigma is in ninth with one. Everybody else has yet to get on the board. Well, actually, Snag has one, too. I forgot. Um, but yeah, Snag, Snag's tied for ninth. Everybody else, is, everybody else has to get on the board. 
We hope you like that. If you want to keep up with Puckle throughout the week, you can go over to the main feed at Puckle Podcast. Or you could, of course, just check us out on Discord. Link is in the show notes. You can always support the show in a number of ways by checking out our YouTube channel for more content. You can also check out our Twitch at twitch.tv slash the Puckle Podcast. And our YouTube is youtube.com slash Puckle Podcast. You can, of course, help support the show in a variety of different ways. The first being checking out our T Public store, or purchasing something. You could also go ahead and uh, you can go subscribe to us on Twitch with a Twitch Prime membership, or you can go buy some Vite Ramen using code Puckle at checkout for a 10% discount. Or uh, more importantly, you can go to our Patreon at patreon.com slash Puckle Podcast. But we hope you liked it, and we will catch you guys on the flip flop. <laughs>